Angela. 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 Come on. Come. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. I understand. Take it easy, don't worry. Careful with my body. Please, can you kindly help me with a hot cup of tea? Okay. The rice is ready, it's on the dining. Come on. I never requested for rice. 
I only demanded for a hot cup of tea. Or don't we have beverages in the house anymore? Tell me so that I can buy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. to ask me why I didn't travel again. Anyway, I missed my flight. Besides, the meeting was postponed till next week. So needless of embarking on the journey again. That's why I returned. Sweetheart, you look so calm. I will lively up your mood, okay? Let's play the Ludo game. You know it's our hobby. I'll be waiting. <laughs> I am waiting. Why is your hand shaking? You don't want to play Ludo game? But playing Ludo has been our hobby. What's the problem? <laughs> so you talk to me. <laughs> what is the problem? <laughs> yourself. I don't mean to scare you. I just came to cover you. Hmm? Sleep. 
Thank you. I've been standing here for over three to four seconds. You didn't notice me. What is the problem? Hello? Am I not talking to somebody here? You are supposed to be getting the breakfast already. Why are you here? have I gotten myself into? What is my husband up to? Why is it this silence? <sighs> so I had married to a silent killer. Hi. Life, life is hell, but some people don't know. I'm not here to hurt you, Mr. Sam. I am not here to hurt you. I don't know you to be a coward. But I see you as a hero. I mean, a hero in the aspect of doing the lady's thing. You see, Sam, what you did, I see it as something that can be done by a hero. It's not easy for you to take such a bold step. Only men with heroic mind can do such. There are so many single ladies out there praying and hoping for young men like you to come and satisfy them, to be with them. But you see, only men with that heroic nature in them and boldly walk into another man's compound, convince the man's wife in that house, 
takes her to bed. In that same house, spreads her legs on the bed. In that same house, and penetrates her. <laughs> what a bold move. What a heroic move, Sam. You deserve an award. Don't you think so? Sure, you deserve an award. Of uh, sexual satisfaction. <laughs> Kudos. Sure, but uh, the best is just for me to run away from this city. Huh? What is this now? Why are you controlling me anyhow? Huh? Queen, please, could you help me define the word Ekila? What kind of a crazy question is this? Who doesn't know the meaning of a killer? Queen, I put it to you that you don't know the meaning of a killer. If you say you know it, define it, let me hear. Okay, no problem. A killer is the same thing as a murderer. Someone who takes someone's life without thinking about the law. Either by weapon, poison, Every other deadly means. You don't know the meaning. Let me tell you what the killer is. Or who is a killer. A killer is that person you offended. That person you hurt. And he refused to take actions. But behaves as if nothing has ever happened. And still want you to live normally. That is a killer. What, what brought about this? What's the meaning of this? <laughs> you didn't bother to ask me why I didn't travel again. Sweetheart, why is your hand shaking? <laughs> Sweetie, talk to me. <laughs> what is the problem? Relax yourself. I don't mean to scare you. I just came to cover you. Hmm? Sleep. Thank you. was what happened. Gosh. You see, your friend is just a shadow of herself. I don't know what to do. This is terrible. It's better he says something. Either beat you up, throw you out, Anything. divorce you, do any form of crazy thing than keeping quiet. Gosh. This kind of man is so deadly. I know you'll be wondering why I came around here once again. And we're sorry if I'm pestering you. I came to inform you that I'll be traveling tomorrow, Mr. Sam.
have I gotten myself into? What is Mr. Benson up to? I know how men react when act of adultery comes into play. But his own case is different. Congratulating me at every sight of meeting. Give Mr. Benson a reason to also forgive me. Please, Lord, give me a second chance. I've repented of all my wrong deeds. I let you know that I bought these packets of condom for you. You need them. That's why I bought them. So you can have them. Anyway, I intend to travel tomorrow. And uh, I needed to save you the stress of going about looking for condom, which I believe you may know be able to go or rather you might be shy going to buy them so i decided to call a shot for you let me get them and keep them at home for you because i know very well that you will use them once i'm not at home and hence i'm traveling tomorrow that's why it's available for you if it's not enough you can just walk down the street that pharmacy that not stays Take as many packets as you feel is okay for you. Once I get back, I will pay, okay? It's for you. You know, it's good for one to play safe. Prevention is better than cure, okay? Well, so I'll see you when I get back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, God, what have I put myself into? What kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? God, I'm sorry. For how long am I going to live like this? So how much? Uh, don't worry, eh? Uh, it's our bonanza day, so you don't need to pay any money. It's all right. In as much as um, you say today is your bonanza, but I believe you deserve to be paid because you bought these items with money to sell. But okay, you you.
I am dying slowly by the day, Queen. Please, do something before you lose your friend. Queen, I know if this continues, I will not survive it. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's okay. Heaven knows you're very sorry for whatever it is you did wrong. Don't worry, it will be over soon, okay? Sorry. Sorry, it's you. I'm strongly behind you. Okay? Let me see you. It's okay. Then. Angela, sweetie, you called me. How are you? Well, on my way back, I had to buy these uh, beverages. I got them from some shop. Uh, just drink them, it will revive you. I bought it directly from him. Huh? <laughs> Take them to the kitchen, is yours? Okay? Please remember to use these condoms as I told you before. With love, your husband.
Still, eh? This one you're carrying bags, I see your cabin. I want to stay in your house. My husband traveled and I don't want to be there alone. I hope your husband won't mind. He traveled. But even if he's around, uh -uh, are you not part of this family? I beg, say something else. I beg. My friend, do you know my husband bought me four packets of condom before he traveled? Tell me, even if I am a prostitute, can I use four packets of condom in one week? This man is something else. Do you know it's good for something to happen? So you really know who someone is. Hmm. Oh, please just go inside. Make yourself comfortable. Let me just tidy up this Come on, let's go. Hmm? Yeah, that is how it is. So. Hmm. so since that time, has he said anything? Nothing. Has he denied you anything? Denied what? He has become more caring. So what has been happening? Tell me. Anyway, nothing more than you know. If not this uh, condom of a thing and over caring. No, your husband is so mean. You are living with a devil. I have never seen this type in my entire life. Have you called Anne to tell her? Anne? What are you saying? How can I call Anne to tell her that her father got married and there with another man? But do you know Anne could actually be a solution to this problem? Yes. Can probably be a solution to this. How do I come about it? What do I tell her? That is my little that you're talking about. Anyway, let's see how it goes. It's better she goes to meet him than bringing him to my house. It's better that way. 
women and their little brain very little brain I don't think anybody will blame me for the actions I'm taking no <laughs> let's see how it goes Please, I'm truly sorry to meddle into your family affair. I'm a family friend. And as a family friend, I'm also part of the family. So I look at your wife. She's dying slowly by the day. She has become a shadow of herself. So if she dies now, you will become a widower. Please, sir, my candid advice is you divorce her than killing her emotionally. Please. I suppose you are queen. Yes. Queen, it's a pity that my wife could not tell me that she's sick, but she confided in you. Please kindly help me and ask my loving wife if she has ever told me or complained that she's sick, then I refuse taking her to the hospital. This. I can no longer bear this queen. This man is tormenting me. I want you to go to that pal and meet your husband. Go down on your knees and tell him you're sorry from your heart. Do you think it can work? There's no harm in trial. Or do you want me to go with you? Mm -mm. Don't worry. Okay, no. Your heart to forgive me. It is the work of the devil. Please, please. Sweetheart, my love. <laughs> my sweet baby. 
love of my life. <laughs> my dream woman. <laughs> my missing ribs. The calmness of my night. My love. <laughs> The joy of my life. I just don't know how you have wronged me. I know very well that you don't take alcohol. <laughs> and I can't assume that you are drunk. Because from what you are saying, you are acting like a drunk. If you have done anything wrong, kindly tell me. Because as for me, you have not foretold me in any way, and you have not wronged me in any way. I admire you. I admire you so much. Up and down. Oh. Mm. Life. Can life be rosy? Can marriage be adorable? Maybe. Adultery. Only if we can avert adultery because it disrupts marriage. The wise men of the old wrote as stated in Matthew 5, 27, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Doesn't work. And also in Ecclesiastics, 726 it is written I put and I find something bitter than death the woman the woman whose heart is snares and nets whose hands are bound If you must worship God, flee from that woman. Flee from that woman. So says the word of God in Ecclesiastics 7.26. Now tell me, why must we practice adultery? Let us create a world that we will have a happy life. Let's give it a try. Thank you. 
Daddy did not take you to the hospital. Oh. When did they start, Mom? Well, my daughter. I'm fine. I'm not sick. Spare me that mother. Look at you. It's only a fool that will see you like this and believe that you are not sick. Mommy, you are sick. Please stand up. Let's go meet Daddy. Sort of a question is that she's your mother and my wife. Don't tell me that, Father. This is my mother's shadow and not my mother. So, my mother is sick, and you have the mind to leave her inside to die? Oh, this is wickedness. This is wickedness. Daddy. I am still surprised. I don't know you by this ugly character. You just came back from school. Now you are accusing me of what I don't know. Did your mother tell you that she is sick? Did she? Mommy, tell me the truth. Are you not sick? And my daughter, I'm fine. I told you I'm fine. Stop worrying yourself. Oh, oh, um. You just had it from her mouth, directly from her. Why are you blaming me? Come on. What is going on here? Oh. What is going on here? I need help. I need help. <laughs> Afternoon. Afternoon, my darling. Auntie, please, when last did you go to our house? Um, calm down. When did you return from school? Auntie, there is nothing to calm down. I came back from school some minutes ago. Auntie, are you aware that my mother is seriously sick? And she's not admitting that she's sick. And you know if your mother is sick, I should be the first person to know about it. And I won't be here. So meaning she's fine. So calm down before you make a miserable mistake. School, mom. Auntie, even you, are you confused like them? I didn't say that. All I'm saying is that you should calm down. Let's take it step by step. Please. So, sweetheart, that is what happened. Your mom is not sick. She's only going through emotional trauma. 
This is very bad. Why did my mother do that? This is unforgivable. In a matrimonial home, not even outside. It is an insult and also a sin. That is why I said you should calm down. It was all her fault. Thank you for telling me. Because I know that they will never tell me this. It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. Why are you crying? Daddy, please forgive me for judging you wrongly. You are right in everything you are doing now. What my mother did is very wrong. I don't support her, Daddy. But as Moses stood on a gap between God and Israel, Daddy, today I stand on a gap between you and my mom. Daddy, please. I need place in your heart to forgive her. Forgive her, Daddy, please. Come on. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Stop crying. Hmm? I am happy you came up with this issue. And you've made reference with the Bible. Do you have Bible? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Bend it to your body. Hmm? Stop crying. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. All coming from your mouth, as it is written in the Bible. What your mother did is an abominable act. And that act has separated me from her emotionally. Daddy, do you love my mom? Yes, I did. That's why I married her. Good. Daddy, let's go to the book of First Peter. Chapter 4, verse 8. Okay, I'm all ears. Yes. 
and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Oh, my daughter, it's obvious that you are ten stuff. Have you taken your bath since you came back? No, Daddy. Go and have your bath. Then come back. We will continue this discussion. No, oh, Daddy. Daddy, I'm... Daddy, please forgive my mom. Please, Daddy. Daddy, please. Daddy, I won't do anything. Well, I know that you are acting according to your age, but one advice I will wish to give to you as a teenager is uh, in every of your decision don't take sides don't be sentimental always be neutral hmm? forgiveness has a process okay daddy daddy please forgive us please. daddy Please forgive your only daughter. Please, Daddy. What I don't understand is where you wronged me. I don't because, understand. Because of love, Jesus carried the sins of the whole world. And because of that same love, I want you to forgive my mother. Please, Daddy. Please, my husband. Because Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm dying. Oh, please forgive me. And you can hear her. She says, She's sorry. Daddy, please forgive my mother. I'm sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. is to go to the village with her to see her parents. I just need to see my in-laws. That will actually help to settle the pressing issue, the issue at hand. Once that is done, I mean, I'll forgive her. Do I have forgiven her? Yeah, I have done that. Is that all, Daddy? Sure, that's all. That's all I need. Okay, Daddy, I will. But I want you to convince me with something. Something? Something like what? Okay. Maybe something that will facilitate our going to the village. Okay. Have it. 
For what? Mm. I want you to hand this money over to your mother. What of you should use it and do shopping? Maybe buy clothes so that you look presentable when to when we get to the village. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and Daddy, you know I have a mm. Why don't you leave it until I come back? If you say so, I have no problem about that. Love you, Daddy. It's alright. Let me go and show it to me. Go ahead, go ahead. This celebration will usher in a new beginning in our family. Mm -hmm. You see, despite the fact that what you did was an abominable act, I have forgiven you. I have pardoned you because um, our Lord Jesus Christ carried our burden even when he had no sin. Yeah. Our daughter here, as you can see, contributed immensely to restore back peace and laughter into this family. And on this note, I want to say once again, I have forgiven you, my sweetheart. Mm. Thank you very much, my darling. You're welcome. <laughs> Today happens to be the happiest day in my life. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I promise to remain faithful all the days of my life in this marriage. That's good to hear. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's good. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Don't forget that we'll be going to the village to see your parents once she finishes her examination. But all the same, the celebration continues. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. For a toast, <laughs> and we are toasting for a uh, put a life, uh -oh. <laughs> a loving <laughs> life, and a happy <laughs> family. <laughs> at the back of your mind. You are representing this very family in your school. So study hard and be of good behavior, okay? <laughs> okay, Daddy. Thank you, Dad. All right. Are you not forgetting something? Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> That's my girl. Love you, Daddy. All right. Bye.
like so gorgeous, so elegant, like my friend I used to know. Yeah, and you can wow. say that again and again and again. Wow. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh my God, I thank God. Eh? That man really assured me. Honestly. Come, 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 come. How far? With his character, has he? Is there any change? Is he back to like that man he used to know? Yes. Everything is back to normal now. Oh <laughs> I'm so happy. And I thank God for my daughter Anne. She was my saving grace. That is why it's wonderful to have them. They are angels. I went to see Queen, my friend. Oh, Queen. So mm. how is she? She's fine, thank you. And you? Have you eaten anything? Not really, not really. Ah, and uh, what about Anne? Has she gone back to school? She just left. Ah, okay, sorry, darling. Let me see what I can prepare for you as soon as possible. Oh, right, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, my God. And meanwhile, just come here. All right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Someone. Sorry, is Mr. Jude around? Jude? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no one with such name in this compound. Maybe you should check the next compound. Okay. Um, excuse me. Yes, please. Um, well, my eyes ain't deceiving me at all. My dear, you look so beautiful. <coughs> You're such a pretty damsel. Thank you, sir. Where you descended from heaven, how are the people over there? <coughs> oh, oh, Lord. I'm sorry, sir, but you are very funny. Really? Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. No, oh, you are welcome. So, what are you actually doing here? Well, myself and Sam are nearly wedded. Wow. That sounds nice. Yeah. So, as a newly married lady, you should be needing the modern marriage tactics to maintain this your beauty. Don't you think so? I don't understand, oh, sir. Oh, come off it. Don't tell me you don't understand what I'm saying. Are you a kid? I mean, there is this saying that goes this way. You don't hash your egg in one basket. You need a man to actually maintain this beauty. If not, it will fade away. Anyway, let me cut the story short. I really wish to see this beautiful face over and over and over again. I mean to say it often. Uh, okay. Maybe when next you're passing, you can stop by. Maybe by then my husband will be around. No, no, no. I mean, I want to be seeing this face often. This beautiful face. Oh. My husband is usually not around on Wednesdays from morning till night. He doesn't come back until night, except there's an emergency. But then it does not happen often. That sounds better. Let's see how it goes. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. You too, sir.
<laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, I really enjoyed my stay. Well, I hope you come back again. Yeah, I wish to. It's back. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Sam, you are welcome. Honey? You're welcome. Honey, welcome. Bye, sir. Bye bye. What are you doing in my compound carrying those bags? Well, my husband chased me out of the house because he thinks I'm having an affair with your husband. Uh oh. And you think this is the right place for you to be? You don't have parents or your people. Go to your people, go to whoever you can go to, not here. No. I am going nowhere. Your husband will come here and meet me. I am going nowhere. Is that so? Yes. That's okay. You wait for him. What are you up to, Sam? I don't understand you. Don't play games with me. Sam, maybe you don't understand the emotional trauma you made me pass through. Oh, why are you talking as if I didn't pass through the same trauma? As I'm talking to you, I'm still passing through it. <laughs> why do you ask your wife to come to my house? Oh, that's where she belongs. No, she doesn't belong to my house. Sam, as a man, you should know how to handle whatever problem you have with your family, not what you are doing right now. If you know what is good for you, come and take your wife out of my house. I will not do that. Where she is right now is where she belongs. Okay, 
Let's see how it goes. What is going on here? I, I, I thought you said you have forgiven me. Sure. I've forgiven you. Any problem? Oh, her? Huh? <laughs> no. I'm only following the biblical statement that says that one should be his brother's keeper. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. As you can see, she has been thrown out by the husband. The husband who knows how to feel the pains when the wife cheats on him. He threw her out of the house. And for me, I think the best thing for us to do is um, to accommodate her for a while until the problem is sorted out. Don't you think so? Sweetheart. Sweetheart. So, sir, you know, as much as I am the one that invited you, I know you will find it very uneasy to summon courage to come and sit with me. Yes. Because you are still living with the guilt of what I caught you doing with my wife. Because you are still hiding in shame. Also, you are living with anger over what you believe your wife did. In every man's life, there's always a reconciliatory period. A time you need to reconcile with your odds. Pave way for positivity and channel your actions towards positivity. What you believed I did with your wife was not how it happened. What you're planning is very risky. My husband is not going to take it lightly with me. What if he gets to kill me before finding out the truth? Don't bother yourself, blessing. You see, I'm just trying to prove a point to my wife. But as for your husband, I'm going to handle him. If he gets to a point that he will realize that I am involved, I don't think he's going to take any negative action against you, okay? However, I'm going to handle him. So don't bother yourself. Okay, if, if you say so. Yeah. Right. I think there's someone at the gate. In that case, I have to be on my way. Okay then, thank you so much for coming around. All right. Thank you. So, so you see, I did what I did for you to understand the pains a man passes through when he finds out that his wife 
is living a wayward life. Because when a man leads a married woman into extramarital affairs, that man did not just destroy the home, that man is a killer, a murderer. I wanted you to feel that pain for you to connect to positivity thereafter. And at this juncture, Mr. Sam, I want you to be reasonable as a wise man and go home with your wife. Accommodate her as your wife. <laughs> so, I, oh yeah, I've forgiven you. I'm very, I'm very, very sorry, sir. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how to start pleading. Honestly, when you called me, I was, I was afraid. But at the time, I summoned the courage to call. It was, it was the devil. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to do such an abominable act. I know it's very, very wrong. I'm sorry. Th thank you for forgiving me. Thank you very much. Listen, listen. I, I still love you. Thank you very much. All right. 